Hey, and welcome to another unboxing video. This is the second video in the build a figure for the Hulkbuster. Um, today we have Thundra. Again, another character I really don't know too much about, but to get all the parts for the Hulkbuster, you have to get some of these other figures. So uh, let's get this open. We will check it out. Okay, so uh, there is Thundra, um, a character I really don't know anything about, but uh, we will check out her articulation and all that fun stuff. So uh, to start with the head, the hair on this is just like unbelievably hard, like it's a super hard plastic. So I can't imagine yeah, it's not going to really go all that far. So right off the bat... This doesn't look like it's going to have very good forward or back, which it doesn't, or side to side. So you are not going to get a lot of like neat looking poses when you try and set your figures up if you get this particular figure. Um, the shoulders, I mean, you know, standard ball joint goes all the way around. It's a little tight. It goes all the way around, and then you have the hinge. Uh, you can kind of see in there, which, you know, she will go up a bit. And again, as we discovered with the last figure, if you toy with that, you can get pretty good range of motion like that. Let's uh, try out the other arm here. This is really tight on the red side. Wow. There we go. That's pretty, you know, good range of motion there. Nice. Um, there's a hole in the back here. I'm curious if maybe that's for a stand or... Uh, I don't know. There seems to be no sort of peg on this, so... I'm not quite sure what that is. It looks kind of awkward, but... Uh, yeah, so let's check out the rest of this as we bust her arm trying to get it down. Um, there's the bicep swivel in here. There's the uh, the joint hinge in the elbow, which doesn't want to go. Don't break. There we go. Uh, the wrist, as always, goes all the way around on the hinge. So that'll give you some good range of motion. Um, there is no... Uh, waist or hip swivel, whatever you want to call that. Now, as you can see, obviously this belt uh, is free. It's not really attached, so that'll move around, but I'm not sure what the point of that is because there's no hip swivel, so what does that matter? So it's kind of an odd choice for that. Um, the chest area seems to have like a crunch. Goes a little bit forward, a little bit back. It's not bad, but it's not great either. Um, again, you have the the ball joint and the hinge, although the ball joint really doesn't want to go around in the upper thigh or hip area. That's actually, I don't think that is meant to go around. At least it's not going around. There we go. Maybe it's just super tight on this side. Wow. Goodness gracious. That just doesn't want to go. So that's not good. I would imagine if you uh, toyed with it for a little bit, no pun intended. Uh, you could loosen it up a little bit, but I'm not sure what is holding it back from rotating. There's something that just doesn't want to go. And yeah, we're not getting very good movement in there. So, yeah, that's not good. Um, the upper thigh, of course, this is going to go all the way around nicely. Uh, the knee, double joint. So you're going to get a good bend in there. As for the ankles, it looks like a typical rocker. Yes, it is. So the foot will get some good movement in there. How's the forward and back? Really good. It's about as good as the other figure. Got a little bit of a paint issue in there. Uh, how about forward? Really good. So again, this one's probably going to stand really well, but this thigh, hip, whatever you want to call it area, at least on the right side, that doesn't want to go around. I mean, you can see where the hinge is right here, and it doesn't want to go anywhere. But on this side, as you can see, well, yeah, see, that goes all the way around. I'm not sure what the deal is on the right-hand side, but that just doesn't want to go for some reason. But uh, this is a, a decent figure. I don't like it as much as Valkyrie, uh, the first one that I unboxed. I mean, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, you want to build the Hulkbuster? Or you got to get these, uh, these lesser known, not all that exciting figures. But, uh, yeah, I mean, she's all right. Oh, and I totally forgot to mention this. So um, here is her weapon. It's uh, like a ball on a chain. 
I'm not sure if there's an actual name for this other than ball on a chain, but uh, I would imagine like the sword for Valkyrie, you just gotta finagle it around the thumb somehow without completely breaking it. And then around the rest of the fingers, there you go. And I mean, what are you gonna do with that? I mean, it's always gonna have this awkward bend to it. I don't really like that all that much. I mean, obviously it's her weapon in the comics, but it's kind of awkward looking to pose with. I mean, maybe I'll get some neat poses with it. I'm not sure, but it looks kind of weird. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, it's two of eight. Uh, there's going to be seven base figures. Um, the eighth will be the Hulkbuster build. Uh, I hope you stay tuned and stick around for it, and I hope you've enjoyed this video, and as always, collect what you love and love what you collect, and I will see you next time.